All right, so this training here, we're just going to go over how to get your calendar all integrated and set up and ready to go. We uh, so let me come over here to the cheat code connector. Um, head back to Launchpad. Okay, so uh, you'll go to calendars here on the left side, and you'll find it's right here. It'll bring you to like a calendar view. Now this will populate once you integrate your current calendar, if it's Google or whatever you know, whatever service you use. Um, and it will populate with the appointments once once people start scheduling discovery or buyer calls with you. You'll see we're looking at the discovery call calendar here. Your account, your account is preloaded with discovery call and strategy call. Our vision is discovery call is for a buyer and a strategy call is for a seller. So you'll see um, under appointments, there'll be nothing there. That's if the clients have scheduled with you. And then if you go to calendar settings, you'll see our two events here where you can edit the the duration, the parameters. So let's go through that. So either either one, you, you can you can change the name of it if you'd like. You can change the URL here to you know Joe's Discovery Call, whatever you'd like. Um, there's two widget types. We just use Classic. This is like the theme of the page, the booking page. Um, and then here you'll see it'll actually import the name of the person that schedules with you. So say Susie books a call. So it'll say Susie's Discovery Call. Location is you're going to call them. You could change that to call me or whatever, but that won't work with our, we have automations from here when they schedule this. I'll show you this as well on this call. When they, when they schedule a call with you, it will confirm the call and it'll send a reminder like the day of and, and a minute before and all that good stuff, which I'll show you here shortly. So what you won't have the option to do is select your linked calendar. That's what we're going to go over on the integrations next. But I just want to go through this while we're here. Um, Heads up, you do want to keep this as a one-way whenever you do get your calendar linked here. If you do it as a two-way, it will sync all the events from your current calendar as appointments in here. So you do not want to do that. You want to go with the one-way sync. Um, okay, so availability, you can change this. You know, I mean, this is just how long you want your slots to be. If you want it to be 30 minutes, 45, you know, we set it by 45 by default here. Um, when on the scheduling page, it'll show intervals of 30. Uh, minutes so like you know 9 a.m 9 30 a.m 10 you know that they can schedule they want to buffer 15 minutes uh, between any current events you have on your calendar how many appointments that that there can be per slot or per day uh, the minimum notice we just put an hour and we want them to schedule within 10 days we don't want them to get cold and like start stumbling into another agent or something like that you could extend this out to 30 but i like leaving it at 10 our default hours we put are nine to six you could, you know, take off Saturday and Sunday if you don't want to have any calls on those days. I've seen people do the weekends where they do like just the mornings on the weekend so they can have the rest of their day or something like that. Um, it's up to you on your availability. And then you'll see on the confirmation here, um, it'll just use the form that's built in here. So you don't have to create a form for this. It'll actually be specific to this event. Um, you'll want to set it up so that well, don't don't we our automation will take care of the contact getting a, an acknowledgement email. Um, so actually, yeah, no, you won't need that's that's already set up right. <laughs> Sorry about that. A lot of settings in here. This is all pretty much set up. I'm just trying to go through them in case you wanted to deep dive and understand them all. Um, you want to make sure you allow Google if you are using Google to send the invitation uh, to for, to your contact and then allow reschedule and cancellation. You'll see the notes are already set to have the reschedule and cancellation links in the description of the event. And that is all um, set up and good to go. You could change the thank you message if you want. Um, okay, so that's how you would edit the, you know, the parameters of that those different calendar events. Now for integrations, you would actually just come in here and sign in with your, uh, whatever account you're using. So I'm just gonna log in um, to my account right now, just to show you how this looks. So I'm going to, I'm used, I use Google. So I use Google calendar. So this is how you would do Google. Select, well, this is for, um, this is for the business page, which you can link up to. So there's my business page. Okay, cool. So that's all connected, but you can see once this is connected now that I've signed in with Google, I can come back to calendar settings or if you were back on the home page, you go to calendars and then you go to calendar settings. And now when we edit this calendar event, I'm able to select my Google calendar and which calendar I have a lot, <laughs> but which calendar it is. So if it's going to be um, my main calendar, it's just going to be my chadleyenberg at gmail.com. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And you'll see now once I go through and complete all my editing, my availability, all that stuff, it's going to update. 
when I come back here and go to calendars, you'll see it's actually going to load all of my Google events in here as well. And any booked appointments would come up as like red. And you can see I can, I can kind of manually book an appointment as well on there too. Um, so that is how the calendar functions work. But I also want to show you there's an automation preloaded under the automation section. Of, now we're going to get to the CAN system at the end of this challenge training. But they're under webinar funnel workflows. Uh, these all work for your webinar. So these will you know, notify you when there's a sign up. Um, it'll send a text to you when they sign up for your buyer workshop or for your seller workshop. If they fill out the survey, it'll send you a message. Hey, your, your lead fill a survey out. We already got that all preloaded. But for today, we're talking about calendars. So you can see here, scheduled discovery call and scheduled strategy call. These are both almost identical. This is the trigger in an automation. So the trigger is when they schedule an appointment under this calendar. So it would be discovery call. Okay. So when they schedule that appointment, it's going to add a tag scheduled discovery call to your lead. It's going to update the opportunity in the pipeline, which you'll see that under the CAN training that's coming up, Client Active Nurture, that they scheduled a call. And then it's going to email them. Thanks for scheduling a discovery call. I'll be reaching out to you on the appointment date and time. It's going to wait two minutes. It's going to text them and say, hey, glad to see you schedule a call. I sent you an email confirmation. I also sent you a calendar invite to drop that date in your calendar. And then it's going to wait six hours before, which is typically the day of. And what we'll have, I have this set up for your template that it'll only send it to them between the hours of 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. is what we'll set that up for. Oops, hang on. And then so six hours before, so the morning of, it's going to say, hey, reminder, our calls today on an email. An hour before, it'll text them, reminder, our calls in an hour. And then a minute before, it'll say, I'll be calling you in a minute. Um, so that's, that's what's preloaded in there. If you don't want that on, just come here and hit, make it draft. But that is set and ready to rock for you. So you can, um, you can have all that kind of automation follow up. Highly, highly recommend leaving those running because that will increase your attendance rate on those discovery calls. Um, so that's how to set up the calendar and you know the automations, the integrations, everything like that. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out.